Hi, I'd like to talk about format today as it relates to uh, painting. Uh, it's an element of painting that's often overlooked, um, but it's something we ought to consider and consider strongly. Uh, and that is, what shape are you working in? And how extreme is that shape? The landscape often presents itself to us in a horizontal format. A lot of that has to do with the way our eyes are placed on our head. They're side by side. We tend to like to see things in horizontal fashion. But what you might want to do is not just go with the standard sizes, 8 by 10, 9 by 12, 12 by 16, and so forth, but maybe try a 1 by 2 format. And that's what this is right here. It's 10 by 20, okay? So another 1 by 2 format would be 12 by 24. But it can make things really fun, it can shake things up a little bit, and sometimes um, it can make for a much better presentation of the scene. I had a professor in art school who brought that to my attention at one time, and we were talking, he was looking at some of my work, and he said to me, um, don't you think there's a, a certain format that works best for every scene that you're in front of? And of course, I had never thought of that before. Uh, but I think he was right, um, and it, what's right for you doesn't have to be right for somebody else. So if everyone else is working 8 by 10, maybe you want to work 10 by 20, or maybe you want to work 6 by 12, or maybe you want to work in a square format. But whatever it is, enjoy thinking about format and looking at the landscape and, and thinking about what is the best way to get the feeling of this landscape across. What format? Anyway, I hope this helps and happy painting to you. Hi, I'm Eric Jacobson, and I'm thrilled to offer this series of painting demonstrations in oil. It's been said that in painting, the hardest thing to do is to simplify. It takes some folks years to learn this skill, but it doesn't have to. Join me as I demonstrate how you can create better, more bold paintings as you learn to see less. In this series of painting demonstrations, I will talk about how to learn to see big shapes in the landscape. I will also cover the basic principles of design and value along with editing, mark making, and edges, all of which are crucial concepts for us painters to understand. In this series I'll explain my color palette and talk about my choice of brushes as well as my painting surfaces. As a bonus, I will share insights and quotes from some of my painting heroes. I will also share my simple recipe for finding the right color. I think you'll find these videos to be helpful, as well as enjoyable to watch.